Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another video. Today, it's not gonna be a reaction video. Yep, yep. By the way, if you notice, there's my brother is not around. Not sure. Yes, um, he's right now in the hospital. So he's having a brain transplant because he doesn't have brain. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking though. Yeah, joking, we're joking. He's like he's oh, no. busy right now, so <coughs> he can't come. But I want you guys to do something for me, please. Um Buddha on Instagram. I don't know where. On Instagram clan G Koyjam. Be Oraya She Yaza Bilisness. Get me show so far and get well soon. Yan Shaka Larak. Chop comic or jack. To be very funny, so I want you guys to just go there, spam, get well soon, or get me show soon on his Instagram. Yeah, so today we'll be answering the most popular questions on Kora. Yani, Kora da Tuken Nakinda and popular Sorilar Jeva Verges. Yani, we may not be accurate. Yani, Doru. All my abilities. Ama, sis, we are ten Jeva Virgins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we are right or wrong. <clears throat> Anyways, before we go, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Share the video if you like it. And yeah, so let's yeah. get right into that video. Video. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So what's the first question? So the first question I can see here is. My boyfriend is Turkish, and sometimes he has trouble speaking English. Mm -hmm. Today he texted me, "Come to me without you." <laughs> Boring life. What does it mean? Is there a saying in Turkish that translates to this or so? <laughs> Fam, she already said it from the beginning. Her boyfriend has, has problem. problem speaking mm -hmm. English, so I think you is supposed to be your or something like. Come to me without you, my life. My life is boring. boring. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to say. Yeah. In my opinion, <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, now come on. <laughs> in Turkey, as liberal, he's talking. Is Turkey pardon? Is Turkey as liberal as depicted in Turkish dramas? How different is Turkish culture from Arab culture? So I don't know. I don't know. I think there are some similarities, right? Because some part of Turkey still have this Arab culture in them. Yeah. But definitely the secularism is still there. Yeah. Um, as different from Arab culture, you know, the Arab ways of doing things, the covering of head. Mm -hmm. You have the choice not to cover your head in Turkey, right? Yeah. So I think, yeah, it is as liberal as they depict in um, the Turkish, Turkish dramas. Because uh, we've seen a lot of Turkish women, Turkish girls just, you know, they dress freely and dress so. freely. Do <laughs> do Turkish girls go to the beach wearing <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a weird ass question, man. I've oh. never ever ever seen a question as ridiculous as this. Very what ridiculous. do you mean, man? Like <laughs> of course not. Turkish girls go to the beach with bikinis and if some some that are not so comfortable with it mm -hmm. can like you know put on something a bit light mm -hmm. but covering right mm -hmm. Come on. is it true that Turkish coffee is Greek? We wouldn't know or I think not. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what to say. But someone should give us the right answer in the comment section. Is Turkish coffee? I understand why the person is asking this question because, like, <coughs> Turkish culture and the Greek culture are so similar. Are they? Yeah, they are very, very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Especially their food and stuff. So I can understand the question. So someone should answer this question in the comment section. What do you think? What does feel <laughs> What does Turkish sound like to non Turkish speakers? Okay, I can answer this, I can answer this for you. <laughs> what okay, <does> it? <clears throat> it sounds like 
I'm like, oh, you, 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 you. Yeah, well, <laughs> like I, seriously, when a native Turkish person speak to me, mm-hmm. I just feel like they are cussing me out, you know, like they are insulting me, even though they're not, you know. Mm-hmm. So, so for me, I can say Turkish sounds in two different ways for me. For like separate accents, it sounds like it sounds tish. Hmm. You get. Yeah, like. It sounds like um, it sounds British. It sounds like it sounds like British Arabic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then, for like, 22. for yeah, for the Turkish people, it sounds like Persian or Arabic to me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's. What are some things that Turkish mm-hmm. people say versus what they actually mean? Mm-hmm. This is interesting. Um, they say something like, they say something like, Anansikim, which directly means like, i oh, fuck your mom, but that's not what they actually use it for. What do you use it for? They just use it for like, like, oh my god, like, what the fuck, something like that. Oh. Yeah, because I had an issue with someone about it too, like, it was... <laughs> So um, okay, someone said that and yeah. he got mad because yeah. he understood what he was saying. Then the person had to say, "No, that wasn't what it means directly." Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. And then I'm gonna call him. They use it so much, mm-hmm. and sometimes you just think they're actually saying they'll fuck you because of what you did. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes they just you know ex- they're just trying to like, what exclamate. The fuck? Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there's another one. I just saw one now. Yeah. This one is um, Bilmem. Bilmem doesn't really mean... Bilmem sounds like I can never know. And it sounds rude when someone asks you. Like we ask someone, please, what do you think about Zan Fensen? It's Bilmem. I'm like, <sighs> like, I won't fucking go mad because like mm. Fensen, I can never know something like that. That's like rude sound. Yeah, but it it's actually means they genuinely don't know. But like it sounds rude and stuff. Anyway. Okay. How do you say my name is in Turkish? I'll I'll leave him to answer this one. My oh yeah. Name, my name is uh, Benim Adem. Uh, precious. Woo! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is the last one. This is the last one. I like it. What, what is, is a very name? Turkish problem? Very Turkish problem. I would say with the name, you know, okay. you can you can literally be in a um in a in a gathering of Turkish people and you be like you're just looking at your phone and be like oh see Mehmet and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> no really and everyone is like wait what uh, why are you calling my name like, no bro I'm just reading something on my phone it, like okay turkish people have a lot of names but mm-hmm. like there are not so many you yeah, understand yeah. like you can see five people you going this evening Yusuf, you can see a lot of mustafa yeah you can see Mehmet, a lot of Mehmet. Ayşe and stuff like that yeah i get, uh, I, get I think that's mean. just what? like like i don't know where to call a middle-aged man abla or teze because abla? abla is like um like aunt hmm. no no not so old aunt but like aunt, aunt. something like that. Oh, okay. So what's it's just like Abi, Abi Abla. Oh, what's the Teze is like, it's also aunt, aunt but like also. old <laughs> for older. Oh, 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 oh. So you you you're like careful what you use so they don't get mad. Yeah, exactly. Like if you call them the young one and they're like, and they're like, like wow, why are you being disrespectful? Yeah. And then you call them the uh, old one. Like, like, I'm not an old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So okay, okay. yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and please if you have any answer to any one of them, yeah, you can just put it in the comment section below. Yeah. And so, anyways, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, like, share this video. I'm sure you liked it. Share the video and comment down below, share it, like it, love us. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, till we see you next time. Peace!